Hello, this is Robert Rochelle from D3VBWest.com. This is my second two-minute team blurb. The first was on Lewis and Clark, which you can find on the website, but this blurb is dedicated to Laterno. So why first Lewis and Clark and now Laterno? I guess I'm just attracted to the teams that are having some success this year after being down in years previous. For those that don't know, Laterno is a private university founded in 1946 and is really known for their engineering program. With respect to volleyball, Laterno hasn't been really good for a number of years. They joined the ASC in 1998, and that was the only year they qualified for the ASC tournament. They haven't been back since. They have a relatively new coach in Ashley Tiernan. She's in her second season. She's come up through the high school ranks and was previously a player at the University of Illinois at Springfield. As far as the team's success in 2016, the year before Tiernan's arrival, the Yellow Jackets finished 9-24. Last year they went to 10 and 22. This season they've started 5 and 6 and have already played powerhouses UT Dallas and UT Tyler. Less than half the season in the books, but they are on their way to exceeding their win total from last year. There's only two seniors on this team, Liz Williams and Ashlyn Johnson. Both contribute, but the story of this team is really about the youngins. The Yellow Jackets have four freshmen contributing, and that includes their points leader in Kiana Crow. She's got 159 points so far on the year. The other freshman contributors are Lexi Welton, Natalie Connolly, and setter McKenna Schultz. Crow and Welton are the outsides, and that's a great foundation the Yellow Jackets can build upon in the future. I do want to give a shout out to Thomas, Smith, Galendo, Langston, and Taylor, three juniors and two sophomores that round out the main contributors to this team. As far as the future, the thing that caught my eye with this team was how closely they were playing some really strong teams so far this year. When you factor that in with how young they are, you can see that the improvement is coming. But what about the immediate future? Let's come back to that one ASC tournament appearance. Well, the Yellow Jackets just need to finish in the top three in their division to secure their second appearance. Appearance. This is made easier because neither UT Tyler or Bellhaven are eligible this season, but having said that, this team has already beaten both Bellhaven and Louisiana College on the road, and with the way they're playing, I believe they can compete with ETBU for that second spot. That's my two-minute blurb. I hope you enjoyed it.